Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Donna. Good morning, Steve. Hey, we are Happy Heart Treasures. I'm Steve, and she's Donna. <laughs> <laughs> we're resellers in Lincoln, Nebraska, full time, and today we're going to go on a field trip. Rehomers of stuff. Rehomers of stuff <laughs> on a field trip. Uh, if you watched, there was a video almost two months ago where we redid our booth at Vintage at Timeless Treasures, yes. an antique store downtown. We had a booth in there, a small booth. And we got like the... We doubled it. We doubled it, yeah. yeah. And so we showed like a time lapse. We took everything out that was there and we brought everything in. Well, today we're going back there and we have a couple new additions we want We've to show you. We've been back there since then. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We go... <laughs> once a week Try to so. go once a week. Um, but we, we want to take you with us this time. Yeah, we have a couple new additions in there that we want to show you. And we're actually going to sh tell you the numbers. We're going to tell you what we made off the booth for like the last few months before we got it expanded and then what we've sold in June and July yes. since we expanded it and just decide whether or not this was worth it, all the work was worth it. So let's go downtown and check it out and we'll see how it looks. Let's go. All right, we are at the Timeless Treasures Antique Store downtown and we're coming down the main aisle if you look backwards, that's the front door. And you keep walking all the way till you get to this deer head <laughs> and then you take a left donna is back here working i actually forgot keys but back here now we got this whole back section back here we used to have Just this, this shelf over to there and now we have all the way around to right here this black shelf is not ours everything past it. So we have this whole thing. We have a logo up there with a QR code. And one of the new things that we brought in just not that long ago is a vending machine, a little candy machine. Yeah. And so we stopped here two days after we put it in. And how many quarters did we have, Donna? Zero. <laughs> Zero. It has been uh, a couple weeks now. We haven't made it in here for a couple weeks. And so we're hoping there's at least a few quarters in there. It's an experiment. We honestly don't know if it's gonna work here. Um, and actually with the price of candy and as much as it dispenses for every quarter, it's not a money making thing. It's more just a fun thing to try and the vending machine we got given to us by our friends that moved. Um, and they said, if you want to try it, try it. So, but we figured out like we can't going to make money on it, <laughs> but maybe if there's candy back here, maybe people know it, maybe it'll bring more business back here. That's our thinking. So we just thought we we're going to try it for a while. We have hot tamales, we have Skittles and Boston baked beans. So let's see if there's any actually sold. There's Dan, put Dan on there. Dan, you want me on and there? I, I have a, and I have a, I have a quarter. <laughs> Dan has oh, a quarter. Can we you? <laughs> I have a quarter and I'm gonna get some Skittles. Uh, oh yeah, you're oh. fine. Okay. And I'll get some Skittles. There you go. All right. Dan well, we know there will be a quarter. There you go. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it's a lot of Skittles they for quarter. Wow. That's cost more to isn't it costing you money to have it's, this? Maybe. It's <laughs> we figured it ain't gonna be a money maker. It's just for fun. Well no, it is kind of fun back here. <laughs> this is Dan, he runs the place. Well and he's been really well, you, helpful you to hear us. us talk about Dan now you uh, know. Yeah, the and face. you know who it is. <laughs> that's right, that's right. Well by golly, they sure got a beautiful booth here and lots yep. of stuff that they have what a variety too thank you yep. so yep anyway i love the ashtray too that's yeah. cute yeah. Well, and we, the husker lamp that yeah it's somebody, missing a panel back there yeah, it's missing you know a what panel, it's pretty when it's against a wall anyway that's right yeah. <laughs> so it don't matter that's right thanks well, for the quarter dan you're welcome <laughs> Okay, I want Donna to open it and see, but she sat down now, sitting down on the job. Look I'm at that. sitting down on the job. She's, she's working the hats, rearranging the shelves down here. Okay, so now we know there's a quarter in there. We know there's one. <laughs> here you go, Donna. All right. <laughs> there's one quarter. They don't know that it's first for... Okay, Donna. <laughs> I think that, that people just don't know that it's actually a dispenser and not something for sale. Like, okay. So, but when the kids come back, the kids might. Maybe. 
We're gonna try it. She asked me if she should put a sign on it that says fresh candy for sale because maybe they just think it's an old dispenser for sale. I told her I didn't think we needed to do that, but maybe we do. So maybe we'll try that. Uh, anyway, what, whatever. What do you all think? Like, yeah, what do you guys think? Uh, we don't, and we don't know if it's something that's gonna work here or not. But most, a lot of people don't carry cash or change or anything either. Yeah. But you know, whatever. Like all we paid for was the candy. Worst case scenario, after a while, we take it home and eat it. I guess <laughs> it's a lot of candy. <laughs> No, but anyway that's that's our gumball thing we saw a few other people like a hairy tornado has one in there and he gets a bunch of quarters and we thought well we'll sell a little candy but and maybe we will when the kids come back to school we are i don't know how far half mile from campus we're really close to campus we're in the very back of the store and it has been sweltering like so hot yeah so maybe once the kids come back to school. And the temperature cools down a little. Right. Yeah. So. Yeah, we're not ready to give up on it by any means, but you know, we, we expected to have a few quarters in there. <laughs> yeah. um, no big deal. That's not why we're here, it's not to sell candy. So uh, I do want to show you some cool things that we're bringing in today. All right, check this out. Got a little wrestling ring from the 80s, you guys, and all the figures check this out we got the iron Sheik right there we got bobby the brain heenan we got gene okerlund these are from 1984 i think hulk hogan um can't remember his name he was tag team with iron Sheik. look at this one george the animal steel how fun is that so my neighbor messaged me and he was at a garage sale and he found all these and he paid $25 for all this there's two rings and 21 figures I think so I'm like oh cool because we're like the same age so we were just both like reminiscing about the old wrestling days so he brought him over and he's like well are you interested in them or to try to sell them or anything and I'm like uh well yeah and so he's like well just give me what I paid for him he paid $25 and I'm like well I'm not gonna do that like so I paid him $50. So I bought him for $50. So what I was going to do is if you look, there's some, they're, they're dirty. I don't know if it's showing, but like there's dirty. See the pink? It's got dirt on it. It's just dirty. And some of them have like paint rubbed off in certain places. So they're in rough shape. They've been played with. Uh, yeah, they've been played with. A lot of them are in rough shape. There are some in better shape than others, but they are 1980, Titan Sports 1984. And see, this is just really dirty and also issues. So what I was going to do, I was going to try to clean them up and then put them in here for $10 a piece. And then the ones in worse shape, put them in for $7. And then I started cleaning one and I thought, you know what? Somebody else can clean them. So I put them all at $7. Every single one of them is $7. And there's 21 total figures. And Donna's setting them all up. They're all, there's Hulk Hogan there. But George Animal Steel, Captain Lou Albano there behind her arm. Uh, look at that. Isn't that fun? That's some nostalgia Roar! there. There's Rowdy Roddy Piper back there. But see, his hair's rubbed off a little bit. Brutus the Beefcake Barber back there. Junkyard Dog. How do you know all their names? <laughs> oh, my goodness. This is my youth, man. 1984, I was 12 years old. Wrestling was cool. Um, I don't know about cool, but so yeah, they're fun. We brought them in. Then another thing we did today, we got all these from the Iowa thing. We got all these Star Wars figures. There's a bunch here, and there's there's a bunch in several different places, like right there where she's reaching. And then there's some other things that were fine. But these figures, these are all the newer ones from like around 2000, late 90s, and they're not worth much. <laughs> we put $8 on them when we brought them in, but we haven't sold any of the figures. We've sold some other stuff. Um, so what we're going to do today, we're going to mark them all down to $5. So all the figures are going down to $5. Hopefully we can move some of them. Pucker up, buttercup. What? This was a fun one. We were in Columbus, and Donna got a whole box of these Bernstein Bears cards for a dollar. Is that what you paid? Yeah. For a dollar for a whole box. They're not worth much, but she put a dollar on them, and we sold half the case for a dollar a pack, so that's fun. All right, we were just finishing up here at the booth. Um, it looks pretty nice. 
I know I kind of already showed everything. So maybe this will be in. Maybe it won't. We got Mrs. Teapot. Is that her name? Mrs. Potts. Mrs. Potts. There you go. Mrs. Teapot. Mrs. Teapot. That's right. I love this chicken. Look at that. That's cool. Just some really big assortment of this Hummel picture. This is uh where is it numbered back here you really numbered i don't know if you can see that but it's numbered 177 of 225 and on the back it's got a big old certificate of authenticity and stuff it's kind of a cool picture we got a garage sale i think for 15 dollars mm -hmm. got some trolls we got some peanuts gang we got some sesame street we got a little cabbage patch we got beanies we got everything a little bit of everything over here's a lot more shirts. We do a lot of Husker clothes in here. It sells really well. And then, yeah, just a wide assortment of stuff. The Big Wrestler. I love this. This is like my favorite. Rawr! That's awesome. <laughs> Rawr! And then some more banks. Banks. Got a lot of banks in here. So, so that's cool. Tell us what you think about the booth. If you think we should change something up or, you know, what you think. Yep. All right. You have a now we're going to, <laughs> do I have a quarter? That's funny. Um, I have the keys. That's even better. Now we're going to go and we'll catch up back at home and talk numbers. Okay. We are back home now. And uh, this is kind of a shorter video, but we just wanted to, we we're going down to the booth, wanted to show them wrestling figures, yeah. wanted to check our candy machine. Yeah. <laughs> what a disappointment. And you got to meet Dan. Yeah, Dan is the owner yeah. down there. So. Now, I know I said we were going to go over all the numbers. Um, I'm not going to go over necessarily all the numbers because the, that's a unique place. Like a lot of these places you see on TV that have booths, they have every booth is like the same size and it's all measured out. And it's, yeah. it's you get this, you know, 8 by 10 or whatever. There are some booths that are just a corner or maybe just a shelf or maybe just a rack along the walkway and then there's some shelves or some booths that are like two-sided or three-sided or just yeah. kind of whatever so it's hard to compare yeah when but... talking to dan he he you know it's they're different sizes so he tries to do it so they're all fair space yeah and we to the feel size. very lucky to get the space that we have yeah. to spread out like we do for the price that we get it so i think he's very fair with his pricing um, um we are going to tell you how many things have sold and the gross amount of sales like the total amount of sales okay. all this is really funny because we literally went in there a year and a half oh, ago now glasses look silly no you're good a year <laughs> and a half ago now they do not look silly and we went in there to give our notice to Was it? The, to leave. Was it? Oh, it was. And that's when we got that back space, the half of a space, because we thought, well, we could at least hang some shirts back there. So we were putting in our notice, and now we're yeah. so glad we didn't. We we had been through a summer. It was hot. We were tired. We had a locked case for a while. Then we had a yeah. little half of a little booth. And When we went in to give our notice, they were like, well, how can we help? And so he explained a few things to us and maybe what might sell better we decided we'll give it one more shot one more shot so now we have the numbers from the last four months this is be april and may and then it was the first few days in june when we went in and did the work to to uh to open it up and open get the up. whole space so in april donna how many things did we sell I'm making my specs we're gonna tell you how, how many items and then how much it total it sold for in april we sold 19 items and we do you want the just the total gross sales oh because it's got the average of each item and whatever yeah. so it was a hundred and sixty dollars and 99 cents and so we still got a check out of that so 19 yeah. items is less than one a day it wasn't very good but we still got to check out that my goal yeah. is always to make enough to pay for the storage unit that we had and, and that pay did the not rent. yeah and pay the rent the rent comes out of there and then 10 percent on top of that comes and then we get that. a check so i was always trying to pay to take home enough to pay the storage unit that we rent yeah so then in may what did we do okay in may we sold 19 items yes and that was 203 dollars even yeah so about the same amount of items and yeah. a little bit more money so still didn't cover my rent at the storage unit but and we you know, were selling things like caps and t-shirts 
and just a few little plushes here and there, but mostly hats and t-shirts. Okay, then on June, I believe it was June 5th, 5th, I'm guessing, is when we Wait. went in and did all that work from that video. Yeah. And so then in June, how many items did we sell? 73. 73 went from 19 to 73. That's yes. more than 50 more items. And what was our total gross sales? $646.64. Yes. And we changed it up and kind of rearranged, moved, touched the items. <laughs> and we still sold t-shirts and hats. And also then we added in some trinkets. What toys. is What is Dan calling? Sold doodads. doodads. We sold all of uh, Master of the Universe toys. That was yeah. a decent chunk of that. So 80s toys Yeah. and that kind of thing. Okay, and then. So then this month, well, there's still two days to go in this month. Today is 29. Today is Wednesday the 29th, so this is like through right now. So there's through, still two more, a couple yeah. more days to go, but as of right now, in July, we have sold how many things? 70 items. 70 items in July. $557.58, and we have sold not quite as many t-shirts and caps, but more trinkets or doodads and um, toys. Oh, and this is when we took in a lot of the banks, um from our iowa the the action figures from iowa stuff like that so and honestly guys, willow tree stuff so it's been like three times as many as sales by taking up twice as much space um yeah we're super excited about it not just because it's doing well but the summer is really the slow time because it's like like i said like it's really close on the edge of campus and everybody's gone from school so in a couple of weeks all the kids come back to school and then and it's been so so hot this yes. month <laughs> and then football starts and we are not far from the stadium and football weekends are yeah typically pretty big so we are super excited about what we could have a really big fall we're hoping um, we're hoping we're hoping so so is and the, yeah if anybody who's local goes and visits the booth and they see this really cool candy dispenser rag there it is for you to buy candy and you get right. a whole handful for 25 yep. cents. Yeah, we'll give it a run for a yeah. while. We'll, we'll try it. But that's, uh, we just wanted to show you what has happened since we did that. Is is running an antique store worth it? You know what? If you got the space he, and you got the location and everything else. When we first decided, or when I first said I wanted to try this, he was like the grand poo-pooer and he said, I don't want to. No. And then he said, okay, fine, you can, but I don't want anything to do with it. I just carry things back and forth and she usually does all the setting up. But but now you do more. Now I do more. Well, now yeah. it's more, before, when we started, it was trinkets and doodads and, mm -hmm. you know, little jewelry and, you know, stuff like that. And I don't have any interest in that but now, now that we're doing toys. like fun clothes and toys and stuff like that's a lot more fun like today but. we took in some dragon t-shirts we took in some band tees yeah we took in just a, a few husker tees but mostly band tees yeah and we took in the wrestling toys the 80s yeah. star wars stuff so we think they'll do really well especially yeah. once the kids get here it's going to be great we think yes so anyway thanks for watching we have we just passed a month in having that storage unit last week and i do want to have that empty by next time so we have three three and a half weeks yes. to get that empty so we're gonna be doing some more videos showing what's there and trying to sell that discovery stuff through. videos so, to see what's in there and thursday maybe we'll do some garage selling yes. we'll see what happens okay all right hey everybody thanks for watching donnie got anything else like and subscribe share with your friends yes. you guys about 47 percent of the people that watch the videos are not subscribed yeah so, so if you like the video click the like yeah, if you're still watching now and you're not subscribed that, go ahead and hit it that helps us out a lot all right all right thanks everybody we truly appreciate all of you i'm steve i'm donna we're happy our treasures and we'll see you on the next bye. one bye